looks like the basement area in the Daniel Craig James Bond. Who is that Jason Statham? Deckard Shaw. Is he in the bag? Oh my god, is there someone in the bag? I tell you where the drive is. The plans we stole. Man, this drive? These plans? But you already got it. Yes, mate. How much do you think I stay in this good as shit? I love Jason Stath. Watch, it's probably Han at the door. Someone's knocking at his door. That was a really cool mid credit scene. There was no after credit scene. It was just a mid credit scene. I mean, it was a good mid credit scene, though. I didn't expect Jason Statham for some reason. I guess it makes sense to have that. But I was first like looking at the basement. I don't know why, but right off the bat, it reminded me of the basement in, I think it was Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. The second I saw it, where Daniel Craig is stripped down and he's doing the thing on his balls, like whipping the, the rope with the thing on the end. That's what the basement area looked like. It looked like right out of that movie. And then I realized, wait, who the hell is this dude? There's this Jack dude. It looked like Jason Statham right before they showed it was Jason Statham. Makes sense to have him in it. Who the hell was the dude in the bag? I didn't realize I wasn't really paying much attention to the bag. I got to go back and look if the bag was moving and stuff. I'm willing to bet there wasn't anyone in the bag when he was beating the living crap out of it. But... That was hilarious. I didn't even think that would be a thing to look for. And then all of a sudden you hear a call for something. I'm thinking someone is sneaking up on Jason Statham, Deckard Shaw himself. And then I'm like, wait a second. That sounded like it was behind him. And the only thing behind him is the bag. He, he, he zips some dude up in a bag and he shows the dude, I have the thing you think you have info that I need to get. So I'm just beating you up for fun. Then I'm talking about how I love Jason Statham, but Han probably wants to kill him and should kill him. Then you hear a knock at the door. Who else is it going to be? The only other thing it could have been was like Vin Diesel or somebody being like, dude, Han's alive and we got to make good. So we're all buddy, buddy. It didn't look like Han was ready to kill him, though. And then they cut the black. They didn't show us. I guess that's a good spoiler. That's a good way to end it all. But it like didn't look like Han was ready to attack him. And Han is... A chill dude. I love Han. So Han is such a chill dude. Maybe Han's just going to be like, look, dude, you tried to kill me. I get it. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Maybe they're going to like not make it a thing. But I doubt that because the, the hype is so real about Han getting vengeance and stuff like that. And in all honesty, I, I wouldn't blame him. If it was me, I'd be like, dude, you tried to kill me. I mean, even if he was our buddy now, how do we just forget the fact that you tried to kill me? That's like the ultimate, like, bad thing you could do to somebody. You tried to kill me. What is worse than that? And now you got to be friends with him. But it didn't look like Han was going to try to take it out on him. I don't know. I'm going to do the review on the movie and stuff like that. If you guys want to see more of what I do, Patreon link in front of me. Full unedited episodes of all the shows on the channel. Dozens of shows that aren't even on YouTube. Full unedited. Check it out. If not. Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.